Welcome to Look Learn Lead. Kindly subscribe and press the bell button for updates. Hello everyone. NABARD has released a recruitment notification under Rural Development Banking Services for the Assistant Manager Grade A. In this video, we will be discussing about the notification detail that is the important date, selection procedure, salary details, eligibility criteria, number of vacancies and exam pattern. So let's move on to the important dates first. Okay. Uh, the important dates is the website link will be opened from 13 to 2nd uh, March, sorry, 2nd April, 13 March to 2nd April. That is the registration has already started. So you can register the last date of submission is 2nd April 2018 and the download of phase 1 that is a preliminary exam uh, call letters are from 27 April 2018 onwards and the preliminary exam would be the date of the examination is on 12th May 2018 and for the mains the exam would be on 16th June 2018 18 okay so uh, this was all about the important dates uh, let's move to the mode of application the mode of application is online and you can apply through the bank's website that is www.nabad.org uh, there is no other mode for uh, submission it is completely online next the number of vacancies about talking about the number of vacancies there are 92 vacancies okay out of which 46 vacancies is for generalist and all the other vacancies the rest vacancies are divided based on the categories that is animal uh, husbandry for five chartered accountant five economics nine environmental engineering two according to this uh, all other uh, vacancies are distributed so there is also reservation that is for unreserved candidates that is 47 vacancies are there and for obc it is 25 and for SCST it is 13 plus 7 okay this is all about the number of vacancies which is there in RDBS next the eligibility criteria it is divided into two that is age and education we will talk about the age first uh, according to it is uh, the March 1 is taken as a reference date and the age should be between 21 to 30 years of age as on 1st of March 2018 and the candidate must uh, have not been born earlier than 2nd, 3rd, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2 March 1998 or not later than 1, 3, 1997. So you have to take all these board dates should be inclusive. Next is the educational qualification. It is also as on 1st March 2018. It is a reference date for both the eligibility criteria. Now, first general for generalist, the it is bachelor's degree in any subject. It is no stream is mentioned. It is any subject with minimum of 50% of marks for the general OBC candidates and for SCST and PWD candidates, it is 45% in aggregate. Okay, or the postgraduate degree with a minimum of 50% marks in aggregate for uh, general OBC candidates and 45% for the reserved candidates or PhD. So in for PhD there is no percentage criteria, no percentage criteria okay or you should be a PhD or you can be a chartered accountant, cost accountant, company, uh, company secretary with bachelor's degree okay you should uh, own a bachelor's degree if you are a company secretary okay or a two years full time PG diploma in management it is like postgraduate diploma in management full-time MBA degree from any universities which is recognized by the government of India so whether you are a PhD you are a postgraduate or you are a chartered accountant you have PGD uh, postgraduate diploma in management you can apply for the generalist post and there are other posts uh, other uh, um, disciplines also such as animal assembly chartered accountant economics environmental engineering food processing forestry land development minor irrigation social work for all this I have shared the link of the official notification you can check your um, eligibility if you are eligible for all this for all these the minimum it is a graduation in the respective field okay for all these you should be a graduate from or any all the of these respective fields let's move on to the next it is a selection processes uh, in the selection processes there is uh, three phases are there three phase of selection is there in the first phase is the preliminary examination that is it is an online examination it is completely multiple choice question of 200 marks so let's move on to the format it would you would be given two hours time that is 20, 120 minutes and out of which uh, you would be having having reasoning English, computer knowledge, general awareness, quantitative aptitude, economic and social issues, agriculture and rural development. See, for all these, that, that is the reasoning, uh, quantitative and English. It is there in every prelims exam, but here we have four more things that is 
computer knowledge is included in the prelims general awareness is in the prelims social and economic issues is in the prelims agriculture and rural development is in the prelims so for the reasoning there are 20 questions for 20 marks english 40 questions of 40 marks quantitative 20 question of 20 marks computer knowledge 20 for 20 general awareness 20 questions for 20 marks and the stress is given on these two that is for economic and social issues we have 40 questions for 40 marks and agriculture and rural development also you have 40 questions for 40 marks so these are we have 200 marks for 2 hours okay in the main examination it will be a online examination prelims also was online main would be a online examination but it would con uh, be a mix of multiple choice questions and descriptive pattern okay so phase 2 that is the main examination would contain two paper the first paper would be general english which is descriptive that is online through keyboard okay uh, you will have to write answers of carrying 100 marks okay the duration would be 1 and 1/2 hours that is a 1 and 1/2 hours you can uh, have to write essay there would be some comprehension or there would be report writing or any paragraph writing anything would be there and it would be of 100 marks for 1 and 1/2 hour okay uh, in this there would be essay of 40 marks precise of 20 marks questions on precise para for 20 marks report and letter writing for 20 marks that is total of 100 marks okay for 101 and 1/2 hour you would be having the time and the paper 2 that is a phase 2 in the main exam we have two phases uh, two papers paper 1 is completely english paper 2 you would be having mcqs uh, okay mcqs would be there this uh, based on the discipline in which discipline you belong to it is also of 100 marks of 1 and 1/2 hour that is our uh, fa uh, phase 2 phase 2 would consist of 100 Plus hundred marks of one and a half hour and one and a half hour, so it is two hundred marks in three hours. It is would be a very lengthy exam. It is a three hour exam. Okay, and the last phase is the interview phase. Those who have qualified and have been shortlisted for the interview in the mains exam would be called for interview, and the marks for interview is twenty five marks. It is the twenty five marks is allotted for interview, and it is a phase three of the examination. If you are interested and if you are eligible, so you can apply through the uh, bank's online uh, website that is www. nabrd. org. Thank you, and please don't forget to subscribe.